Face Unlock has been around since the days of Android Ice Cream Sandwich. However, that was pretty bad and useless. With the iPhone 10, Apple once again brought facial recognition to the forefront. Almost every flagship these days has facial recognition built in. LG, Samsung, OnePlus, Honor and Apple all have facial recognition technologies. So we decided to find out which one of them was the best. Hey guys, this is Akshay from bbomb.com and today we are comparing face unlock features on the OnePlus 5T, the Galaxy Note 8, the LG V30 Plus, the iPhone 10 and the Honor View 10 to find out which one of them performs the best. Before we get started, how about you hit the bell icon to get notified every time we post a new video. Now that you've done that, let's get started. So I set up facial recognition, face unlock, face ID and whatever they call it on all of these phones and now we are ready to finally test them out. In normal light indoors, all the phones perform very well. The OnePlus 5T and the View 10 take away the crown with their insanely fast face unlock that just leaves all the other phones in the dust. I mean, look, the Note 8 and the V30 Plus aren't very slow, but because of the 5T and View 10 speed, they look like they're taking centuries to unlock. I was honestly surprised at the speed with which the View 10 unlocks. I mean, sure, if OnePlus can do it, why not Honor? But for some reason, I thought no one else could. The View 10 is just it's insane how fast it is. The iPhone 10 works fine too. You know, I think the iPhone feels a lot slower than it probably is because of 1. the unnecessary animations and 2. the screen that doesn't open itself. Anyway, moving on. Indoors in the dark, every phone struggles, except for the iPhone 10 and the OnePlus 5T. The Note 8 and V30 Plus simply can't unlock in the dark and the View 10 is also hit and miss for the most part. The OnePlus 5T uses a clever trick where it uses the screen for assistive lighting in dark environments. Takes a little longer but works most of the time. I wonder if View 10 would have worked with such an assistive lighting feature. Who knows, maybe Honor brings it to the View 10 soon. The iPhone 10 doesn't even break a sweat in the dark. It simply gets you in. No matter how slow, Face ID has so far been consistent, which is more than what I can say for the other phones. Moving on to more outdoorsy lighting conditions, all of the phones performed admirably as I expected. Again, the 5T simply takes me to the home screen. I mean, how in the world is it that fast? The Honor View 10 again matches the 5T and sometimes looks like it beats the 5T as well. However, overall it seems that the 5T is a bit more consistent than Honor's flagship at this point. The V30 Plus works perfectly well and so does the Note 8. Both phones that have a decent facial recognition, bogged down by unnecessary animations. I don't have any complaints with Face ID on the iPhone 10 either, other than being bogged down by the animations thing. I did notice that if the phones were facing the sun, they experienced issues every now and then. The OnePlus 5T sometimes simply didn't unlock if the sun was directly falling on the front camera. The V30 Plus and Note 8 also seem to struggle quite a bit in such situations. The same happened with the View 10 as well, which is expected with phones that are using their camera to recognize users. I didn't notice any such problems on the iPhone 10's Face ID thanks to it using a much more complex system to identify you than what these other phones are using. Then again, these other phones have fingerprint scanners, so if face recognition is struggling, I can just use the fingerprint scanner and I'm in. Even though these were the most common scenarios for unlocking a phone, I also wanted to see how foolproof these technologies are. I mean, we did a Face ID twin test and the iPhone 10 failed. So I wanted to see if there were some other scenarios which could trick these phones. Naturally, the first thing that came to mind was a photo. Now the iPhone 10 doesn't get fooled by photos as I am sure you must be aware of already. But what about the others? Turns out, none of these phones get fooled by photos, which is awesome and really, really cool as well. We also checked if these facial recognition systems work with glasses on the face. I assume that all of these phones will work perfectly fine and while the OnePlus 5T and the View 10 do work well with or without glasses, the V30 did struggle quite a bit. It was often slow and more often than not, it just didn't unlock at all. The Note 8 worked fine too, if maybe a millisecond slower perhaps. And the iPhone 10, well, it certainly holds its ground here as well. 
Thankfully, it doesn't slow down at all, but then again, it was already pretty damn slow to begin with. Also, I noticed while setting up Face ID on the iPhone 10 that the phone had awareness functionality, so it knows when I'm looking at the phone. Naturally, I wanted to test out if the other phones had this same functionality. The OnePlus 5T will not unlock unless you're looking towards it. Which is great, because how often do you unlock your phone to not look at it? The same thing happens with the View 10. Unless the phone can see your eye, it won't unlock. Basically, not an issue if someone tries to get into your phone while you're asleep. The Note 8 and the V30 Plus both don't mind unlocking regardless of whether or not they can see your eyes, which is… Well, weird. I mean, if OnePlus and Honor can do it, how come Samsung is lagging behind? The iPhone X too doesn't unlock unless you look at it. If you're looking away, the iPhone 10 will simply not unlock. Turn your eyes towards it and there goes the lock. It's sensible and personally, I think this is exactly how it should be. Coming back to the twin test, it's only fair that the other phones go through the same test, right? So we did that as well. One by one, all the phones failed at realizing that we were trying to trick them. Not that I was really surprised. I mean, if the iPhone 10 with all of its 3D mapping and fancy stuff could differentiate between twins, these other phones didn't really stand much of a chance, did they? I'm not really complaining, but that is definitely something that smartphone companies should work on. Although surprisingly, the V30 Plus did show some hesitation before giving in. But at the end of the day, every smartphone failed at the twin test. All in all, facial recognition is definitely improving by leaps and bounds. And is slowly but surely heading towards the point where it will be very secure. I mean, the iPhone 10 is already there, but other companies will definitely catch up. But none of the technologies are perfect in my opinion. I mean, if I had to choose a favourite right now based on the performance, I'd say OnePlus 5T for the insane speed. It has a fingerprint scanner for authenticating payments easily, so it doesn't need an over-the-top secure face recognition system. Same is the case with the View 10. It's as fast as the OnePlus 5T and sometimes it's faster. But I chose the 5T for the consistency it offers. Honor still has some work to do on that part. The Galaxy Note 8 and the V30 Plus's facial recognition is okay, but it's inconsistent and slow. However, if we talk about the level of security it offers, I'd say the iPhone X's Face ID is unbeatable. But I'd still not choose it because for some reason it feels like a hassle. Really, I never expected a technology that's supposed to make a process easier and more seamless to actually make it feel more cumbersome. But that's just my opinion guys, what do you think about these technologies and which one is your favourite? Do let me know in the comment section below. Also, give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. That's me signing off, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.